Hi everyone, it's Gail. I'm back. At least maybe, I don't know, 75 85% of me is back. <laughs> not, not quite back to normal, but um, I have so much fun stuff to share with you guys today that I couldn't wait. And, um, and I thought this is a great way to just sort of ease back in to making videos. So first of all, I want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you and hi and hugs as well for um, all of you who said prayers, kept me in your thoughts, reached out, sent things, um, and just were so supportive over my, my little bump in the health road. Um, I... I'm hoping not to see the inside of a hospital for a long, long time after all this. And um, let me just say the nurses and doctors were amazing. So anyway, I just appreciate all your support so much. You guys are the very best community in the world, and I love you all so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And I am doing great. Surgery went flawlessly. Heart behaved itself. Yes. And, um, and yeah, it was all good. I'll have, I'll have some funny stories along the way as we get back into crafting videos, because definitely there's, there's some funny stuff to share. So, uh, all that to say, um, I'm up and about and yesterday I puttered almost all day in my craft room, got myself ready to do this video. And so we are just gonna, we are just gonna do it. I have like a list of things I need to talk to you about. See, when I don't talk to you every day, stuff piles up. <laughs> so I'm going to just check off health. Okay. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about before we get into this stuff is uh, the YouTube ads. Um, just a quick little thank you to everyone for being patient. All of that happened while I was in the hospital. So, uh, I, you know, the timing couldn't have been worse for me. And I don't, I don't think it was great timing for anybody, to be honest with you. Um, so here's, here's what I thought was going to happen. YouTube did contact us, which was great, and said, we want to place mid-roll ads in your videos. Uh, their intent is to replace, um, was to replace income lost by COVID by the creators of YouTube, which is a true thing. Like of the little bit I make, it was cut in half when COVID hit because people weren't out buying stuff. Advertisers, I mean, you know, companies weren't advertising. It It all makes sense. But what I thought was going to happen was halfway through my video, there'd be an ad or maybe even like a third of a way an ad and two thirds of a way an ad. One or two ads in the middle of my video. And I thought for an hour video, that's no big deal. So I didn't opt out. Be, and and I was do, I was in and out of the hospital that whole time, so it was like oh. Um, so anyway, little did I know there would be an ad every three minutes. I mean, honestly, who who thought that up? I I I have no idea. Nobody wants to watch a video where every three minutes there's an ad. That that is just. Of any type, crafting, I don't know, car repair, nobody wants an ad every three minutes. I just think, I think they blew an opportunity to help their creators recover some, um, recover, recover some income. And, and I, I, you know, I don't know why that decision was made that they'd be boom, 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 but it, it was a bad decision. And so, um, the crummy thing is now I have to remember on every single video to opt out of that, which, you know, will work into the workflow of uploading the video. So not that big a deal, but really, I was just like, really? <laughs> Who thought that up? I, I hope they're not there anymore, whoever they are. Anyway, so thank you for your patience. Thank you for, you know, not getting ugly about it. I think everyone this has happened to 
has done their very best to get it fixed as soon as they could. But, you know, like me, I was in the hospital. And, and so, I mean, I'm calling Mike in a panic and saying, you know, can, can we do, can we figure this out? Well, I have to send a giant thank you to my pal Amy at Crafty Cat because she, she found the instructions on how to fix it and sent those to me to help me out. And, and so thank you, Amy. I love you, dear girl. I do, I do, I do. And I am so appreciative for your help on that because it was, it was overwhelming. Like I was in tears. I mean, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, glad we're on the other side of that. That's the ad. So that's that's the only, you know, sort of, I don't know, what would you call it? Not happy that we're going to have in this video. The rest is going to be really happy because I'm so excited to share a whole bunch of stuff with you. So let's get started. So I wanted to take a quick minute and talk a little bit about just introduce really to those new subscribers talk about my website and Gail's favorite things. For those of you who are new and didn't know, I have a website, gailaugustinelli.com. And when you go to the homepage, it has all the links to my other social media, including YouTube and stuff. And then there's a place that says Gail's favorite things. Well, if you click on that, there's various categories of things that I have found helpful in my crafting and things that I really love using. And um, and those links are to Amazon. They're to the Amazon website. And it's my Amazon affiliate. So what that is, is um, if you buy something on there, I get a little bit of something at no additional cost to you. And so, um, it's, so it's beneficial to me if you shop Amazon through my website. Now, an interesting thing is I do believe that on, on my, uh, Gail's favorite things, I have a, a, a search and that search goes straight to an Amazon search. So if you put in there, oh, what Tim holds paper dolls, it would take you right to the Tim Holtz paper dolls on Amazon. Um, as well, if you put in dog biscuits, it would take you there too, and I still get credit. It doesn't have to be a craft supply. So I just kind of wanted to explain through that because this stuff is now on there. Um, I wanted to tell you there's always a new items section, and right now in the new items, I have the crocodile. And I've been, I've kept that on there, um, even though adding these, because I, this, this little bugger has been life changing for me for putting in eyelets and stuff. It's so easy. And I had, I had the big one that sits on, on your, um, table and it, it had its own good stuff, but this is just easy peasy to use. So I have that in the new items. So these are under um, other categories. So uh, first of all, <laughs> these are so cute. One of my subbies, bless her heart, she's kind of a shopping enabler. I'm going to say it. I, 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 she shall remain nameless, but she's a shopping enabler. She sends me good stuff she finds. And so these are, these are bunny bunny paper clips. Can you see that cute little bunny there? Isn't that fun? <laughs> so I think this, these are under, under the supplies category. And then under the paper category, I showed you guys this paper and, um, it is, it is just kind of a plain, there are, I don't know, five designs I think so I don't know if you can tell on camera the difference between this one and this one but they're like uh they're like there's another one and then there's this one they're like coffee dyed paper kind of except they're printer paper so as I've said before if you're worried about putting coffee dyed paper in your printer this is a great alternative and still get that look and what I love about this is then you don't see 
a white page on the other side when you print your digitals, which I'll show you an example here in just a second. But I wanted to introduce this one too. And this one is also on there. And it's a little bit different in that, let me just get this open. It's got a little bit of design to it. So this one, look, it's got these lines on both sides. So it has its own applications. Look at this one in this one. And then I think this one has five different papers too. There's this one just dark around the edges. This one's perfect for doing um, digitals on. Look at this nice grungy one. And then, let's see. And then there's this one. Maybe there's six in this one, six different ones. And then there's this one. So um, these are under the paper category in on uh, Gail's Favorite Things on my website. Oh, and I wanted to say for the newbies too, I always put all my links in my description box under the video, which if you haven't found that yet, there is a little triangle in the under the video box, a little uh, gray triangle usually, that is um, that if you click on that, it opens up your description box. And you need to know about that if you're watching many YouTube videos because people put important information in there. But that's where I'll put all the links for, I have so many Etsy's to share today. Um, I'll put all those links in and, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so you guys, uh, I want to show you a kit that I'm working on cutting out here. Let's see, make sure I grab it all. Okay, um, that I use these papers and I just, I think they're fabulous, guys. I really, I really do. I'm excited to share those with you guys through Amazon. Okay, so this is my friend Jolene at a jeweled design did an autumn kit. Yay for autumn. I love doing autumn journals. So I'm super excited about this. So um, I printed it on one of the designs of that paper. And so look at that nice. So, you know, as you have these folded in your journal, you have beautiful writing space here. That's decorative, I guess, is what I would say. So I think that's so fun. Let me make sure you're in. Yeah, I think you're in far enough. Okay, so this is Jolene's kit, Autumn Gathering. She's a jeweled design. So she will be linked below. And I'll just flip through the pages here. There's really subtle leaves all through this. This is gorgeous, Jolene. There's a lined page. Love this owl. Why do an uh, owl on a pumpkin? Great idea. I love it. Isn't that so fun? And then this is a farm. I love that too, because I always think of, you know, like corn mazes and things like that. A little squirrel and a bird and just a beautiful background. This is a beautiful kit, Jolene. You done good, my friend. And then some, um, you know, like vintage papers and laces and design. And then, <laughs> I, you know, I've been laid up. I've been doing myself a little fussy cutting is what I've been doing. So I've started cutting out all of the ephemera for this kit. So I don't have them in pages. I thought maybe you wouldn't mind too much. But there's a lot of little um, embellishments. There's tabs there's tags, there's labels. These labels are awesome. Um, and there's uh, a couple of like belly band or, you know, decorative things. Like, look at that. Aren't those great? Envelopes, all that, you know, all the normal ephemera stuff. So, um, so I've made some good headway on cutting out for that. So, I felt like even though I was in my bed, <laughs> I was being a little bit productive, you know. So, um, so that is some of that. Let me show you a couple here. Hang on. These are some that I haven't gotten to yet. So 
you know, the owl. So that'll be fun to use and uh, all the different things. And then look at this, this page with, um, so my plan is to cut that and leave green around the edges. I just think it's cool how she did that. Um, oh, sorry. That's, that's another page to another something. Okay. And then also Jolene has uh, autumn words and definitions and in different sizes. And, oh, I love those. I started to cut them out and I'm like, those are just more impactful for you to see in this. So, so maybe that will be this afternoon's fussy cutting. Or fussy cutting, as my son says. Okay, so that's Jolene's Autumn Gathering, a jewel design. Okay, onward and upward. Now, this, this batch, um, I shared with you a couple of um, days ago, Amaryllis Tangles, Amy Herman's at Amaryllis Tangles, and she had just sent a couple of pages. Well, she sent the rest of the kit. So I wanted to share that with you. Love this. Love this, Amy. I think it's beautiful. And her her coffee dyeing is, look at that in the background. That's her coffee dye. But, and then she's added these beautiful images. I got a little bee there and bee there. That's that's always good. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then there's two more, um, two more digitals of tags besides the one I showed you. So I just wanted to update you a little bit on, on Amy's, um, Amy's digi. So that is that one. Okay. So once again, Amaryllis Tangles will be in the description box. Okay. Then... My pal Natasha at Journey of Crafting. Oh, that reminds me. Hold the phone for a moment on Journey of Crafting. One of the things on my list is Shell at the Ramblin' Crafter on YouTube is doing a 7,000 subby giveaway. I'll try and get the link into the description box too. I just need to keep my note to remember to do that. But um, I hope it's not too late. I told her I was in the hospital and I didn't know if I'd get it on in time, but hopefully you can go over there and still participate in that giveaway. So check on that one, Shell. I, 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 the news has been delivered, whether it's in time or on time or not, I don't know. So Natasha, Journey of Crafting, and you guys have seen many things that I've used from Natasha. She is having a 10% off sale automatically all of August. And so I wanted to let you know about that, definitely. And um, this is her Lilac Garden Kit. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, this... I, I put, she has like a, what, what do you call it? Uh, background, a background page. And so I put that on the backs, but this one's kind of like wallpaper and then these beautiful irises. I know there's so many of you who love irises. They're like your favorite flower. So I was excited about this kit and excited for Natasha because I think you'll, I think you'll like it. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Just such a lovely lavender color. I printed an extra one of these because I want it for collage. And then I didn't print all of these. There are a ton of labels to um, her add-on for this. And this one um, has the words. And then she has some that are blank without the words and in all different sizes. So super fun. So I love those. And see, here's the bigger one. There's the bigger one. <clears throat> and then um, she's got these like old envelopes that have the design on them. I thought those were really cute too with the different markings and stuff. Then look at this beautiful thing of ephemera. 
Isn't that, isn't that nice? And then a whole sheet of butterflies. See, I have more fussy cutting to do. <laughs> Gonna have to go back to bed, I guess. <laughs> and then some pockets and some images to fussy cut. And then these journal cards. So I didn't print everything. I printed what I thought I wanted to use in my journal. So there's there's more to this kit than I'm showing you. I just want you to know that. Okay, so 10% off of her whole shop. It automatically comes off. Natasha Journal Journey of Crafting. And then I have <clears throat> Emily from Emma Ephemeris Treasures. And I printed several things of her. So the first bit um, is her Wings and Blooms kit. And I printed it on coffee dyed paper. I don't know. I just thought it would look cool. And it does. I love this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, so cool. Yeah. This is a great kit, Emily. I love it. Isn't that pretty? How lovely are the woods? Oh, that's so cool. And the wild rose. So those are the pages. I didn't grab all of Emily's. I, this must be all of Emily's. Is this all of Emily's? Nope. Guys, I had so many kids here. Okay, here we go. I think I've got I think I've got all of Emily's. So then so those are the pages, and then these are the uh uh journaling cards, which I love too. They're they're smaller, you know, they're journaling cut size of the pages, and I love those pages. Some pockets, love that, some envelopes. A little um, divider and this is a pocket which you can put together some tags some more tags so that's wings and blooms it's a beautiful kit beautiful kit Emily and then um, let me turn these the other way this is all about tickets and just a whole bunch of tickets I thought I would get all of those cut with my fussy cutting, but I didn't. I didn't. So we'll work on those as we go. So there's, I, I believe there's two kits of All About Tickets. And so that's both of them. And then she has a Victorian Calling Cards kit. And I love those. I think they're so pretty. So this is set one of her Victorian calling cards. So that is Emma Ephemera's Treasures. And um, once again, they will that will be in the description box. So there's that. Oh, bending over to the floor is a bit of a struggle. Okay, and then, oh, well, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that at the end. Okay. So then this is uh, from Minxie at Northern Craftaholic Tag Bases. She made some beautiful tag bases. Again, I didn't print them all, but I, I tried to do enough that you could see all the sizes that she has of these and stuff and configurations. But there's several more pages to this than what I have. I love these big ones. I'm thinking about a pocket tag for those. Aren't they cool? Really pretty, Minxie. Good job, my friend. So those will be a ton of fun to play with. I'm excited to play with those. Northern Craftaholic. Okay, then, then we come to Nikki. And this is a new shop to me. Nikki, Angel Row by Nikki. And this is her William Morris kit. And it is pretty. Look at this. Isn't that lovely? It's going to be super fun for collage, I think. 
just all these deep, rich colors. I love them, Nikki. It's, this is beautiful. And she was saying she's really excited about this kit, which I can see why this one has birdies. Yeah, just beautiful. So that is Angel Row by Nikki, William Morris kit. So, yeah, so that's going to be definitely a, a fun one to use in collage. Um, oh, and then I have, I have another autumn kit. And again, I've put it on that paper from Amazon. This one is from Home Book and Treasure. This is from Crystal. Victorian Autumn, this one is called. And you can see there's little Victorian people kind of shadowed in the back there. Isn't that pretty? So I'm excited. I have two Autumn kits ready to rock and roll. This little Victorian lady. Yeah. You know, whole different feel to this kit. However, I think this kit and Jolene's uh, Jolene's kit could go lovely in the same journal if you wanted. But um, but yeah, so this one, Victorian Autumn, is the name of it. Love this leaf page, which I did on um, white paper because I wanted to kind of show you the difference between printing on this um, like coffee dyed paper stuff and then on a on a plain old piece of paper plain old piece of copy paper okay crystal home book and treasure all right so one of the first days when I felt good enough to get out of bed I spent some time on the pr on the printer can you tell <laughs> So this one's from my pal Austin. Once again, huge kits. Mixed media set one and two. And he has got some backgrounds here that are super awesome. Look how fun these are, you guys. I love them. I didn't print them all once again. I, I printed the ones that I thought, like some of these I think might just fit in really nicely with the autumn autumn journals you know with the oranges and yellows and stuff so austin has those in his shop now too the mixed media set one and two and you'll recognize them for sure they're just they're super crusty and grungy i love them austin good job my friend he was having some jelly printing time okay and then before I do that one, I'm going to do this one. So our, our friend Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, bless her heart, she sent me um, in the sort of, it got lost in the shuffle. Um, as, as you can imagine, seeing what, what you're seeing, I get a lot of emails <laughs> and, and just correspondence too. And somehow, I don't know, I just, I didn't, I didn't get this shown and I wanted to. But Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah sent me so, several um, of her kits. And this particular one, which is called Botanical Ballroom, I started fussy cutting it um, because I think it's going to go great with my journals that I'm making with the beautiful digitals from Louise, the Dancing with Pansies. Like, I think some of these things are going to just really go awesome there's really beautiful let me see if i can grab the the journaling cards some of the journaling cards are just look at how pretty and i think it's i think it's going to coordinate well with uh louise's kit so i thought i'd use both of those so got i really got quite a bit cut out um and look at that beautiful envelope and then um these are pockets those pockets this is a gorgeous kit if you haven't checked this out yeah so I'll show you the I'll show you the pages that I haven't cut yet but I got my got my little 
my little bag here that these two are on my favorite things, you know. So if you see something that you think, see something I use that you think should be on there and it's not, let me know because I like keeping my son busy and out of trouble, you know, because <laughs> he's the one that adds things for me. So sometimes there's a little bit of a turnaround depending on, I mean, the man is married with two kids and a job. He's got several jobs, actually. Mine is the least uh, on the uh, priorities it needs to be. So the all these lovely ladies haven't cut those out yet. There's this page that has a couple pages. Just hadn't gotten that one. So I just got part way on this. And then there's this page with all these pretty flowers. I think that's so fun. So that is Shabby Dabby Doo Daw. Uh, botanical ballroom. Okay. Okay. Uh, then look at this. Oh my gosh. My friend Deb at Artsology, bless her heart. She just sent me a very happy mail. <laughs> so I have a whole list of, so that I can let you know which kit is which. So this is Butterfly Fr uh, Frenzy, and it has the most gorgeous colored butterflies and a great size. For journal cards, these are a great size. Deb, thank you for sharing these. Butterfly Frenzy, these are. So yet again, some more fussy cutting for this girl. I'm not going to be getting in any trouble anytime soon. Okay, and then... Uh, then these are called collage. This kit is called collage and it as well is just gorgeous. Deb does beautiful work on everything she does. So there's the collage and then the, she has three kits called Flower Bliss. So I have them. How do I have them? Oh, okay. I have them all stacked up. So we go one, two, three, I think. So anyway, here are the pages to this one. Once I printed this out, I thought this would have been good on that, on that uh, Amazon paper too, but that's okay. That's okay. I will just use it like it is okay and then um and then the belly bands I think as well are in this kit and then this I think is kit two and it's just really a subtle floral kit several of the pages with lines which is nice you know nice backgrounds there and then um, look at this ephemera. Look at that pocket. Isn't that beautiful? Envelope. Banners and tabs. Journal cards. Folders. And tags and tickets. And side, and side um, pockets. So that's the whole of the Flower Bliss kit from Deb. Isn't that awesome? Then she has two kits of fussy cut flowers. So this is kit one here. We'll just kind of quickly, again, the size, perfect for journal cards. I can't wait to get these fussy cut out. I need a minion. That's what I need. Just a little yellow guy that talks funny. <laughs> cutting away. Just cutting away all day long. <laughs> as long as he does a good job, we'll just, we'll just keep him at it. So that's kit one of the Fussy Cut Flowers. And then this is kit two. I love that one. But, um, yeah, these are just a great size. I'm, I'm going to have, I think... With all of this stuff to cut out from Deb, I'm going to have to rearrange my uh, ephemera folios, I think, and um, give Deb a bigger spot. <laughs> that one's so cute with the bird in it. 
yeah, so that's kit two. And then, um, and then this is number tags. And she's got such great colors of the number tags. I love the blue, the pink, the green, the red. It's awesome. So I went ahead and printed those on a full sheet label, which is also in my favorite thing. Okay, and then this one is Positive Words. Love this, love this, Deb. Super excited to use those. And um, I printed the colored ones, but there's also um, ones that are white. They're just, you know, they're just on white. Um, but I wanted the color ones, so did that. This is washi, washi tape. So I printed it once again on the Avery full sheet label. And so then you just cut the strip and use it as washi. And then this one is tickets. And I did print all the cut because she has colors and white of the tickets. And again, they have wonderful affirming words on them. So, and really a nice colors, nice colors. And then the whole set in white. So that's from Deb at Artsology. So thank you, Deb. Thank you to all you ladies with the, uh, with the digitals. Oh my gosh, I had more fun just seeing what was there and printing out and everything. I, uh, hold the phone a second. Ugh, just gonna get bent down there. Okay, I wanted to come back to Jolene's for a second because one of my other announcements. <laughs> um, so Jolene has a jewel design and her mom, Lorette, is one of my junk journal friends. And um, I think you saw me do a happy mail not too long ago from um, Lorette where she sent some of her awesome uh, ephemera and she makes the most gorgeous stuff, you guys. I'm I'm serious. She has, a her layering eye is, is bar none, one of the best I've seen. It's just, it's awesome. So the other piece of news I wanted to let you know is coming soon at a jewel design will be Lorette's ephemera for sale. And so um, I will let you know as soon as that is ready to go. And that is super exciting to me. And maybe there'll be some left for you to buy after I shop. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Now we're going to just bend down on the floor and get some of the Gale mail that has come. This, yay. You guys are going to recognize these. These are the wonderful padded hearts from padded heart company, my pal, Michelle. And, um, she has got, she's got Tim Holtz, uh, ones now and she calls them distressed hearts and look how amazing these are oh my gosh Michelle look at this one's a bee so I'm super excited because now I can do another bee cover aren't these gorgeous you guys these padded hearts are amazing oh it ha she has a g on this one oh my gosh gosh, Michelle. And of course, because she is the sweetest ever, she sent my order. I had ordered a couple. Of course, she sent an extra. And then she made two more masks. Oh, here's the gift. We'll do that one last. She um, made two more masks for Mike and I. And I love her masks. Her, her mask came back and forth to the hospital with me. It washes wonderfully. It's just awesome. And I feel cute in it. <laughs> so Michelle, thank you so much. Look at this. Oh, Michelle, you, you're, you, these are just getting better and better guys. They are awesome. Look at this one with the, um, uh, wire, like bendy wire. Can you see that? Gosh, these are cool. 
Okay, well, excited with the ones that I ordered. And then she sent extras because, oh, she's just a sweetheart. I love her. We were going to get together and have ourselves a little craft because she lives in my town, you know. She's like, she's like a physical friend, not just a vir virtual friend. Although friends are friends are friends. Look at these. Aren't those beautiful? And uh, so, but then all my medical stuff happened. So now we have to wait a little bit, but hopefully soon we can do that. Oh, Michelle, thank you so much, my dear. You are the best. And Mike was so cute. <laughs> I have to tell you what he said. He got his mask and he goes, you know, if everybody had masks as cute as uh, Michelle's, then there wouldn't be any complaining about wearing masks. He's like, they just need to be as cute as Michelle's. That's all. Oh, so... So that one, then this is from Donna Little and look how cute that is. She shut the, um, shut the envelope with a little crocheted piece and look at this beautiful card she's made. So pretty. And she, she has a YouTube channel, Donna Little. And she is selling um, doilies, beaded appliques, vintage and antique textiles, and occasionally junk journal supplies through her YouTube channel, Donna Little. So um, I'll link her YouTube channel. And um, yeah, we'll have to go over there and check out what, what Donna's up to. But she, she sent me something, and I haven't opened it. I haven't opened anything. I was waiting for you guys. So hopefully we're doing okay on time. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to have to hurry it up. Quit talking so much, Gail. But um, if this is longer than an hour, then it is. So this is really cool fabric. And then a doily. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me, Donna? I love these. These are awesome. These are not library cards, I don't think. It's called Toon Decks. Oh my gosh, it's, oh my gosh, it's got music on the back. Copyright 1948, 1953. These are awesome, Donna. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm going to have so much fun with these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's so many. I can just play and play and play and not feel like I have to hoard them. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Now we're popping on to this one. And this one is from Lonnie. And Lonnie is Art by Lonnie on Etsy. So again, like I said, there's some new ones here, guys. So, um, let's see. Okay, so if I need to refer to that, I will. But she's th this is really cute. She says, I hope that you enjoy filling this journal with your thoughts, dreams, ideas, and memories as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you. Isn't that nice? Oh my gosh. So these are just goodies to play with, I believe, in this envelope. All sorts of goodies. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lonnie. There's a little birdie in there, too. So that's what's in that little envelope. And we'll just, we'll just start opening. Let's just do this thing. No, no wasting any time. Oh my goodness, look at how cute this is. Okay, um, did you see this bead she made too that was on the note, on her note? Oh, so pretty. Oh, look at this. This is adorable and it's Tim Holtz fabric. I love Tim Holtz fabric and I mostly ended up giving it away, you know, so this is, or, uh, or putting it in journals for sale. 
This is so cute. She's got charms everywhere. It's it's a little, it's like, um, I don't know, a little folio type of thing. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. Oh, Lonnie, you do beautiful work, my friend. Oh, how fun is that? Little writing paper. And then a little, little notebook here. And then a little few things there in that back pocket and then a big tag on the back isn't that cute oh my gosh that's got to go in my idea area see if I can figure out how to put that together that is super super cute Lonnie thank you and I love it that it's made with fabric it's just so cool. And then a bow. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, so we need to run on over to Art by Lonnie, don't we? Cheesy peasy. Sorry, guys. I'm not doing your wallets any good today. <laughs> okay, and notepads and these fun cards. And then... Um, around it she has some beautiful lace and look at this she has a little thing that says gail little charms that say gail oh thank you lonnie that's so cute um envelopes really cute envelopes those would be cute in a little golden book oh my goodness a big old envelope big old envelope with her watercolor. Oh, are you kidding me? One of my watercolor paintings. Oh, that is gorgeous, Lonnie. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I so admire that kind of talent. Well, that's going on my craft room wall. Did you sign it? Oh, yeah, she signed it down here, but I think I might put something on the back that says exactly, maybe even this card. Oh, Lonnie, thank you. That is something else. And then, um, okay, I think this one might be the folio that she talks about. Oh, my goodness, look at this. I don't know. No, I think this is a journal. Oh, my gosh, it has my name on it. Oh, geez, Lonnie, thank you. Wow, she does gorgeous work, you guys. I, you know, it never ceases to amaze me, the talent in this community. It just doesn't. Look at that. And she's sewn around her little journal cards so beautifully. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is incredible, Lonnie. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. You guys look at this journal. It has my name on it. <laughs> That's so, so cool. Oh wow. Gorgeous, Lonnie. Thank you so much. Oh my good grief. This is, this one's un clipped it might have had something on it that we might oh we there it is right there it says hope hope you find this charm <laughs> there we go oh my gosh look at this guys oh incredible work look at these cute flip pockets oh oh my goodness look at that Lonnie are you kidding this is gorgeous and I just happen to be almost done with my journal I've been debating on which journal to use next it has my name on it I need to use this one next thank you so much Lonnie oh my gosh I am just beside myself here beside myself oh thank you so much oh goodness 
that um that little flip book was her take she says on a on an easy sheet flip book tutorial by scrimping mommy on youtube so just fyi okay so that's from lonnie thank you again lonnie oh my land and then i got a fun package from my friend mary peterson at three insistent dogs and she's been busy doing some more embroidery so look at this um this is embroidered onto her hand dyed craft weight muslin each piece of fabric will be unique the mu muslin's pretty sturdy and heavier than what i used to print on for other things um this is a photo of how easily it tears okay this, she must put this in with her orders yeah she says she uh when they're ordered she'll fold them to keep the postage down so you might want to iron and she says they iron very nicely um i think that's going to be an awesome journal cover for a fall journal don't you well both of these oh mary thank you i love them i love them she is just expanding and expanding her um her embroidery offerings in her shop i love that i love it and then she's so sweet because she wanted to fill up the box that <laughs> she sent so she sent me some of her awesome dyed papers and a file folder, which I'm super excited because I think it was her file folder that I use in my mixed media Minnesota thing. So that is awesome. So yeah, she sent paper and yep, isn't aren't those beautiful? Her coffee dyed file folders. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you. Now I know what I'm going to do for my covers for the autumn journals. Yes. Life is good. Okay, this one, this one is from Janet. And let's see what Janet says here. Um, made a couple of things and included a bunny. This is wallpaper in her oldest son's home, built in the 1850s. She says she just loves it. I took pictures and scanned them into my laptop. I sent one to you. Oh, that is fun. I might have to scan that and just put it in my personal use file. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Thank you so much, Janet. Oh, my gosh. And then she made something, some things. See what I mean? I needed to do a video. This is like an hour long video just sharing these Etsy shops and this lovely Happy Mail. Oh, look at this beautiful pocket she made. Isn't that lovely? Wow. Oh, I love the shabby shiki of this. This is beautiful, Janet. Thank you. And isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. And then some journal cards. Oh, I recognize that digital. That's Lulu's digital. Oh, fun. So I can play with those. And then this must be the bunny, I'm guessing. Oh, my good grief. Look how cute that is. Oh, that is adorable. Thank you so much, Janet. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. I, I love these. I'll get that, get that put in one of my journals that's of a similar, a similar style. Okay, last. But certainly not least. And this was a timing thing because I think these are in her shop today. Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. You guys, she's offering journal kits. 
So this is the one that she sent me. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Uh, she's, she's gonna, hoping to have the kits listed on Thursday, which is when this video will show, I think, Thursday morning. So, can you believe it? And let's see, she's posting photos on her blog as she makes samples, vintage polka dot blog.com. So I'll try and put that in the description box too, as well as her Etsy. But she sent this, this vintage book, which has the most incredibly yellowed pages. It's awesome. And a beautiful cover. Oh, that's so fun. Emily, look at this, you guys. A cigar box full of Emily goodies. I mean, life just doesn't get any better than that. It just doesn't. <laughs> Little bits and laces and cards and frames and flowers. Um, just all sorts of stuff. One of her um, Viewmaster reels. There's a vintage, um, a vintage hanky in here. Oh, it's just awesomeness. And then she's got all the papers and stuff. Holy moly. I'm going to quickly flip through what's in each of these, you guys, just because I really, really want you to see this. I apologize if this goes over an hour, but, you know, I think you'll want to see it. So all sorts of papers. And, of course, they have that lovely, only Emily can do it smell to them. Oh my gosh, old crunchy music paper. Oh my goodness, Emily, this is way too much fun. Chuck, vellum, ledger paper. Oh my gosh, book pages, tablet paper, handmade-ish kind of paper, score pads, telephone thing. Okay, so that is that batch. And there's like, there's three sacks of paper goods in here, which is just incredible. Okay, don't give me grief. I'm trying to hurry. So my next couple of videos, while we're flipping through these, I will tell you, Maybe just some kind of playing videos. I'm just going to try and start out easy. Gosh, vintage and coffee dyes. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Um, so, just FYI, there may be a little playing before I get back to our Mixed Media Minnesota project and our Dancing with Daisies project. Just her beautiful coffee dyed paper. She's got a bunch of it in here. You guys, there's enough for, I don't know, three or four journals in here. Oh, I love it, Emily. Awesome ledger. Long paper. Look at that. Look at that. And this is 1918, this newspaper. Wow. And then there's a map page as well. So that's what's in the second one. And then the third one is collage ephemera sheets. Says. Oops. Oh my gosh, and there's fabric in here. Holy cow, Emily. This is an awesome kit, you guys. So we've got little girls. We've got fun um, journaling card type things. Oh, those are awesome. Music. Oh, this is some scrapbooking papers. The Tim Holtz in here. Just all sorts of scrapbooking papers. Wow. This is a kit and a half, my friend. Look at all these beautiful papers. Some of her braille paper. I'm so excited because I can't 
find any more of this, so I'm going to use this in my Mixed Media Minnesota. She's got labels, sticker sheets. Fussy cut them out, and they look great on coffee-dyed paper. I've included a sample for you. So, so here's what... Here is what one looks like on a coffee dyed index card. Oh, they do look great. So they're clear labels that she's put these images on for you. Isn't that awesome? You guys, this is an incredible kit. And then let's see, and we've got some birds we can fussy cut out. Got a frame, little bits, tickets and whatnot, some old photographs, and this gorgeous fabric. Can you believe that kit? Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. So thank you again to all you ladies who, who sent prayers and, um, and thoughts and to all of you who sent all these incredible items to me. I, I hope you guys will all go over and show them some love for all of their work for their Etsy shop because I will tell you, it's a lot of work to run an Etsy shop and to have stuff constantly in there, physical items, is, is really a ton of work. And so if we can support each other, it just makes me so happy. So thanks again, everybody. I'm so glad to be back. And um, I hope you have a grateful day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.